The sexual assault allegations against star college quarterback Jameis Winston have been dropped, and he is speaking out for the first time. Gio Benitez is there in Tallahassee, Florida, with the latest. Good morning, Gio. Robin, good morning to you. He was just named the ACC's Player of the Year, and now those possible sexual assault charges are no longer looming over him or this campus. This morning, freshman favorite Jameis Winston, the Heisman frontrunner, is speaking out. In a statement, he says, it's been difficult to stay silent through this process, but I never lost faith in the truth or in who I am. I'm excited. I can now get back to helping our team achieve its goals. Here he is walking to practice just hours after the state attorney announced the FSU quarterback would not face sexual assault charges. We do not file a charge if we do not feel like we have sufficient evidence to, to make the charge. Nearly a year ago, another FSU student had accused him of assaulting her after a night out drinking with friends. She said she had five to six shots of alcohol and tried to fight him off at an apartment. Winston's attorney saying nonsense. This was a consensual encounter. Um, we believed it then, we believe it now. The state attorney estimating Thursday that her blood alcohol level was a .10, slightly above Florida's legal driving limit at the time of the incident. And then the witnesses who say it appeared consensual. There were several people in the room when this event occurred. But the investigation was mired in controversy. The accuser's attorney claimed cops told her Tallahassee was a big football town, that her client needs to think long and hard before accusing Winston because her life would be made miserable. Police said she chose not to prosecute. The case was put on hold until last month, sparking talk that perhaps this was all being revealed at this time to hurt Winston's chances of getting the Heisman. The accuser's family releasing this statement, saying in part, she has grave concerns that her experience, as it unfolded in the public eye, will discourage other victims of rape from coming forward. And Winston's attorney has told us that they've discussed the possibility of legal action for the things that have been said about him. And by the way, Winston will play at that championship game at Duke tomorrow. Robin George. All right, Gio, thank you very much. And when Dan Abrams was here yesterday, he indicated that this possibly was going to happen, mm -hmm. that the case would be dropped.